right, hey folks, it's Lindsey Hellison with SPS back in the building over at Holt High School for the Moneyball Pro-Am. Sitting here with one of my favorite MSU guys, uh, a global ambassador representing not only the great Michigan State community, but his home uh, country in Mali. Uh, just was home doing a great thing, opening your new school. Yeah. You want to name it, you want to name it after the community, but they wanted to name it after you, Mali Sissoko. Yeah. yeah talk better. about what that experience was like for you. I know it was fun. It was very exciting, you know, have that, you know, that's the first school in my village and every single person is excited about it. So uh, the feeling for me, uh, it was just like, I can't even just put in a word because it was, it was amazing, so. Well, I think it's important that some people know, uh, right on time, got our guy Jay in the building. Um, you didn't benefit from NIL because you are an international student, but you still leverage your platform to be able to do that. Talk about why it was important to still take advantage of doing something like that, even though you couldn't take advantage of the NIL that some of the other students get. Uh, yeah, you know, you know, when they say, you know, I have a visa, I can I can use that for myself, but I can, you know, I can help with a different community and stuff. So the thing that come out of my mind with the, my guardian said, you know, we, we could do something big in your village, and that's when the school thing come out. Up. So we, you know, we were very um, exciting to do that. So as soon as we put a website out, we're doing a school, you know, just, you know, MSU, there's a lot of good people there. Like the community is so great. They support each other. So they, they help us to, to raise a lot of monies. And uh, so we were able to build a school for my uh, for my village, uh, not only my village, but people around. So it was, you know, uh, everybody's exciting. They haven't started studying yet they, because it's, uh, you know, you know, it's a rainy season right now, so everybody's by, everybody in their home just working the farm. But they should start very soon in the, in the September. So what a great thing! Uh, you told me a couple years ago when we sat down that if you weren't playing ball, you would be a, a maize farmer yeah. right now. What does it mean for the people in the community? How many people will your school impact? As far as how many people may come through the school, how many people in that area? Just give us an idea of the impact it's gonna have. Uh, it's gonna have a lot of impact. Things. You know, it's a, one of the you know there's a couple of villages, there's a school. There, but the school we just built is actually the one the bigger, like kind of a little big, and it's kind of like a good looking. It's a lot of materials and it, uh, that people need it. So it's uh, it's gonna be it's gonna make a lot of impact for sure. You know, like uh, you know, it just like uh, just to, just to have a kid wake, wake up and they don't have to walk far, just like five minutes away to go to class. They have they, they're gonna have like a very encouragement every single morning to go to class and to study. You know, I feel like there's a lot of smart people everywhere, but for for them to not think about the, to not think about oh we have to wake up and then walk for hour. Uh, I don't have a, I don't have energy for that. But now they don't even have to think about that. That's this is gonna even help them more to you know to um, you know to uh, give them energy every single day to go to class. So that's uh, you know that's something I'm very proud of. And the one thing uh, uh, one of my boys back home he was like I went to school with him and he was like man mighty I wish we had a school like this I would never have a, any a second time about not going to school so uh, that's just, gonna affect you. we take it for granted here in America uh, short drive to school you know riding with your friends but you talk about literally walking an hour one way to get to school for in 2023 for education we started out talking about the great things you're doing globally talk about being a Michigan State ball player coming back having this experience what your growth has been like and what you plan to do this season with the team? Uh, you know, it's, it's going to be exciting. I'm so I'm so excited for, you know, going to my fourth year at MSU. You know, it's a blessing to play four years in, in college basketball for sure. And I'm very, very looking forward to challenges that every adverse that we got to go to. I'm looking forward to everything. So, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a last year. And then you kind of know now the program. You know, you know what the coaching staff is expecting from you. You, you kind of know like pretty much every single. It's not like you don't know. Okay, I'm a freshman. I'm start adjusting. So I'm being here for four years now. So I'm very, I'm very happy going through, um, you know, going through all the, all the, um, you know, anything we got coming for us. You know, this is this is very good looking team coming back. So you know, it's gonna be exciting for exciting year for now. Not only me, but you know every single person in this program. So I love that. Uh, now you're being a leader. You were coming in, one of the new guys. 
talk about your personal growth because even talking to you now uh, I sense your maturity because you are a young man growing not just with basketball but talk about what kind of growth you've had you know just in your presence you know your confidence on and off the court uh, you know you just uh, like you just said I'm, uh, I'm uh, one of the seniors so I have to you know I have to lead and so I have to set an example every day um, what is a practice what is team activities what is outside of basketball you know you, you are one of the uh, oldest guy now so I'm looking forward to the challenge like I said and I think uh, uh, you know my personal goal is just like uh, you know help my team help my team any way we can to you know to make a great 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 impact for this year well not only are you helping your team on the floor in the Big Ten you are helping an international team being a global ambassador already man I'm so proud of you and everything you're doing I want to wish you the best okay thank you so much yeah, good yeah, to see yeah. you too man yeah. keep supporting this young man in Michigan State this is Lindsay Hudson with SPS at the Moneyball Pro. We'll see you next time. Peace.